And the first card is number one. So this is the beginning for you. Something brand new starting for you in this new year. And, uh, you know, it's a, a card with a lot of power and a lot of insight. And it's a door opening over there with that number one. And you need to focus. You've got this one sitting in the middle of this bullseye. Uh, you know, keep your eyes on the prize. You do need to focus and that door will open for you. You've got the gun over here. So there might be a situation where you have to defend yourself. Make sure that you have everything uh, in your arsenal. Uh, you know, use all the weapons that you have in your pocket, um, you know, so that you can get to where you're going. So don't let anybody stand in your way. There should be no obstacles. You'll be able to overcome any kind of obstacle. You've got the eye over here. And this is the third eye open for you so this is about seeing things uh, beyond what everybody else is seeing so you're seeing the bigger picture and you have a lot more insight than the people around you there and so whatever uh, messages you're getting whatever insights you're getting are, are coming in from the divine and they're coming in a big way so they're allowing doors to open for you there now in the past you've got the purse of a bag so there has been some financial problems over here you can see this purse looks empty so it seems like you have been uh, you know, having a lot of problems with finances as well. There may have been some travel that you've been involved in uh, recently. There could have been some overseas travel that you've undertaken over here with this balloon card. Uh, but this is also rising above situations that have been emotionally draining for you and you've been getting over that. But there has been some financial problems that you have been going through. But it looks like that's all about to change. Uh, you know, doors are opening up for you. You've got the mouth card over here going into the future. So just be careful about what people are saying. Uh, you know, don't listen into everything everybody is saying and um also this is the card about watch what you say as well so just be careful about how m what you tell people so uh you know just keep your um whatever you want to do to yourself right now you've got the anima card over here so this is about you taking control of that situation uh making sure that you know exactly what direction you want to go in this is this like the Emperor card in the Tarot card, uh, Tarot deck. So this is about you being in control, managing your finances, ma managing your resources, and being in charge of whatever direction it is that you want to follow. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the uh, Tarot of Enchantment for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Coins. You, below that, you've got the Hermit card. So this shows that you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. There may have been people that you're spending time with. You could even be spending a lot of time with your pets. Uh, but you've been certainly doing some kind of study or some kind of learning, uh, maybe doing some kind of research as well. And uh, there's a lot of enlightenment that is coming in, in for you with this card of the Hermit. You are content with your own company. It's not like you need anybody over here. But you're trying to find um, your way, your path. Um, and you are, um, you know, insight is coming coming for you. Uh, but this could also be that you're spending a lot of, have been spending a lot of time studying or learning recently. You've got the Ace of Coins coming in. So there's a new job that is coming in for you over there, uh, new money coming in over there, and something that is going to be long term. You can build foundations on it and you're going to be working pretty hard at it. You've got the Nine of Cups. So this could be a dream job that has come in over there. It's something that has made you very, very happy, very, very contented. Uh, whatever it is that you've been working very hard, studying towards, it seems like you are starting to achieve that now with that Nine of Cups. Um, they're coming in so something worth celebrating this could also be a time that you've been spending uh you know with family friends so maybe you have um you know during this christmas period come out of your isolation mode and gone into a period where you're spending a lot of time with friends and family or people that support you but all, all in all this is about achievement of things that you have been working towards and it looks like it is a new job so there's a new job with that ace of coins the beginning of something brand new and it's a new project you're starting a blank canvas over here the sun is rising so this means that uh, you know there is a uh, positive 
uh, change coming in for you and you're going to be able to be very creative in this new job. It's also going to be something uh, that might involve a lot of travel. There's certainly a lot of learning and messages coming in for you over there uh, and you are moving forward pretty quickly. So things are starting to open up for you in this new year and it seems like this new year is bringing in, uh, this January is bringing in brand new start. So gone is the old and uh, you know you need to start focusing on whatever it is you have to do for the future. You've got the King of Blades over there and the Devil. So it seems like there has been a situation that you've been in that has been very, very toxic. You've got one way over here. Um, so this seems like, you know, uh, things have been a bit blocked. You've got that no entry sign over here. So you have been coming out of a, a difficult situation. Um, and you're making a decision to leave it, to cut it out of your life over there with that King of Blades. Um, you, if it was a uh, legal issue, it seems like you know a decision will be made about it. With that Devil card, there seems to be somebody that may have been manipulating you, or you could have been in a situation where you're being manipulated um, by uh, you know your finances or even a job or work situation where things have been a bit, uh, you've been unhappy in it, uh, you know, and um, it seems like nobody's been there to even help you or give you any advice. There might have been financial issues that were involved in this particular situation, and you feel you felt very controlled. Very, it's a very toxic situation that you seem to have been in. Um, but it seems like you know you're deciding to to cut it out of your life and move on. So this is about um, this could be about legal issues that you are getting sorted out. That you know very toxic legal issues that are getting dealt with at this time. Or this is about you making a decision to leave or cut away this toxic situation that you have been in and make this brand new start. With this ace of wands in the past you've got the king of cups there so uh, you know this is about um you know going to somebody for advice and support somebody who is very very paternal uh, a father-like figure giving you advice this could, could also be you uh you know um, seeking medical advice um, or so, uh, seeking some kind of uh, medical intervention. Uh, this might have well been the case. Wherever this person is, they're very supportive. They could have given you some really good advice, somebody that you're turning to. This could be a father figure, so you could actually even just uh, you know, be reconnecting with your father on that basis. You've got the two of coins over here, so you're trying to make a decision. So maybe you've been asking this person who is the king of cups. It could be a, a, a water sign person, so it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy coming through over there, but it's seems like there's some kind of decision with regards to work. So you have been trying to decide whether you should stay in this particular job or take on a new job. You certainly are juggling finances over here, maybe paying out a lot of bills over there. And now you're, you know, you're trying to make a decision, weighing your options really about which job for you uh, is good for you, which one you want to take. Um, it seems to be a lot of um, um, stress coming in from you. So a lot of pressure, pressuring, people are pressuring you to make up that you make up your mind pretty quickly as well with that two of coins with regards to this job that you want to take there. Now going into the, uh, what's on your mind, you've got the six of wands, so you want victory in this situation. You're going through, you've been through a lot of hurdles, it seems, a lot of problems, and you're, you're you know, trying to get something that is going to be working for you, something that you're going for, is something uh, that you've been wanting to achieve for a long time. Uh, and it looks like that's coming in for you, because you've got that... Um, energy of that nine of cups so you've been uh, after this job for a long time and it looks like you know you've got a ha been through a lot uh, to try and um, you know secure that particular job for your, yourself and it looks like that's coming in for you it's going to mean a, a home move so this is about getting your balance back but the the chariot card is about moving home uh, taking control of the situation getting your own personal balance back and uh, go going forward towards victory so you're the one that's in charge over there you don't let anybody um, deter you in what you want to do focus on what you want and go for it You've got the world card, so things coming to a close. So an old job or old situation coming to a close. Whatever you've been dealing with in your life that has been very toxic and very controlling with that devil card is now about to change because, you know, the king of blades is your card. So you are coming into your own. You're making up your mind. Uh, you know, you're, you're getting... Um, yourself in balance over there, you're sorting things through, sorting out legal work, sorting out paperwork over there, and it looks like you're getting closure. You're making your mind up, and it seems like you might be moving on. So this is about ending off an old job and moving on to something brand new, um, and uh, you know, getting closure in that situation. So starting something brand new as far as the work front goes, and it might be something international that you're doing as well on the work front with that um, uh, world card. You've got the High Priestess card over here going on around you. You need to follow your instincts. You need to rely on uh, and trust uh, 
uh, your own experience. Um, this is also a card about doing some further learning or further training, so that might be uh, well on the cards over here. You've got the fox in the background over here, so this is talking about um, maybe whatever new job you're taking on is going to be um, something that you're going to uh, do some further training as well. So there's going to be some further education that, that is involved with this new job that you're doing. You can see there's an open book over here. This could also be that, you know, whatever has been kept from you in the past will come to light. Uh, and you do need to go and ask people for some kind of advice or uh, listen to what people have got to say before you make up your mind. So get some input before you're making up your mind or what decision you want to follow. Make sure you are well researched up. <coughs> and this um, King of Blades could be about signing new work contracts as well. And since it's with the Devil card, the Devil card... Uh, is not only about toxic situations, it is a card ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is about work. Um, or it's ruled by Capricorn, and Capricorn is about work and ambition and career. So this could be about, you know, signing new contracts on the job front over here, starting something brand new. You're going to have to work pretty hard at it. It's going to be something that consumes a lot of your time, uh, and it looks like you might be signing new contracts for this new job that's coming in. You've got the Queen of Cups over here. So, uh, you know, this is about uh, feeling lonely, feeling a little bit unsupported, uh, you know, as though, uh, you know, nobody really cares. So, um, and you, you seem to be a little de depressed about what is been going on as well but you needn't go through that um, feeling because you know things are about to change you are ending old situations over here and uh, you know there will be support that comes in you can see even this man's giving this woman some kind of support so um, instead of crying and worrying about uh, big changes that come in you need to uh, you know take control of that situation and uh, not uh, uh, allow past failures to to um, cloud whatever you want to do for the future. You need to let go of that past and move forward. You've got the Knight of Wands over here, the Strength card, and the Five of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is about taking control. You can see power and energy coming into his hands. But this could also be about moving on and doing your thing, this job somewhere else. Maybe this is where that decision with that Two of Coins comes in. So this is a, a new job, a relocation, but this is also about taking control and taking power. And decisions will have to be made pretty quickly over here. You can see even there's the fox in the background. So it is about work. You're going to have to think on your feet over here, and it's about a new job that you're going to be starting and it looks like it's going to be involve a lot of travel as well you've got the strength card over here so whatever obstacles and problems you are dealing with and facing you will be able to overcome there's victory in there for you you just need to hang in there despite whatever's happened you need to put that behind you um, there are loyal people around you to, to support you uh, and know that whatever you do you will be able to overcome whatever you're going for whatever job you're going for uh, for it seems like there's going to be a lot of competition for that particular post. Uh, you have what it takes. Uh, you might be dealing with a situation where there's still a lot of conflict going on around you, but this shows that since it's all about work and it's a new job, whatever you're going through, initially there might be some settling in problems. Maybe you're not getting along with people that you're working with initially, but that will settle down. These are just minor disputes if you have any uh, going on and you will be able to overcome it. Uh, so there is, if you're going into this new work situation, there might be a little bit of teething problems that go with it. But you have got the strength card, so you just need to hang in there uh, and don't let it deter you. You know, you will be able to come whatever, overcome whatever problems there are initially. Um, so there could be a whole move with that chariot card, you know, and even with the world card. It looks like there may be something overseas or you're moving on but relocating to do this new job as well. And there might be some study involved in it. It looks like there's new contracts that are going to be signed. With that Ace of Wands, it, it's almost as though, you know, you're starting a brand new job overseas as well. <coughs> But it is a dream job. Uh, you've got that Nine of Cups in it, in the spread there at the bottom. Uh, so it's something well worth celebrating. Um, and it looks like it's going to be something that brings in the coin. It's something that you've always wanted as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. So the first card is the uh, Seven of Spring and says be assertive. And you do need to do that because you've got the Seven of uh, the seven of Spring is the Seven of Rods. With the Five of Wands, you've got all these people that are, you know, uh, arguing and, and, well, these children really, arguing, fighting about um, nothing in particular. 
just being difficult, really. Uh, and with that seven of spring, you need to be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe and courageously stand up for yourself. So whatever competition or whatever problems you may have initially or when you start this new job, you just need to stand up for yourself uh, and don't be deterred by anybody else. You've got the ten of summer and emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends. So the ten of summer is about uh, you know cutting ties with uh, old situations, even moving home. So leaving behind uh, what you knew, what you were comfortable in as far as, you know, home life goes uh, and starting afresh somewhere else. So it looks like you are moving on with all these cards, the chariot card, as well as the world card. It looks like you're relocating to do do this job and you're going to start afresh and that means new friends and new people coming in and which means that you know, you've got the temperance card so take everybody's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution and take your time there is no need to rush temperance card talking about getting your balance back again so whatever this a new move is whatever this new job is which means that you're going to have to relocate uh, or you know start afresh somewhere else is going to bring you a little bit out of balance and you need to take some time out to get that balance back again. Um, you need to listen to people around you as well just to, you know, um, see what's going on um, and uh, and then get yourself, uh, you know, settled into that situation. So initially, it might be a bit uh, disorientating, this new position, a lot of competition going on around you over there, but you need to stand up for yourself. Uh, you are leaving behind old friends or old situations, people you knew for a long time, um, and starting afresh somewhere else. So you need to spend some time, you know, listening to the, uh, making new friends, listening to what people around you have got to say, and getting your balance back again. So things are starting to move forward in quite a big way for you. Uh, there's big changes coming in for you, and you know, like I said, even new contracts being signed over here. Uh, and it's all about the work, and it seems like you're going to be following the money or following a new job, and that's going to bring about this big change or big shift of energy for. For, uh, January 2020. So I wish you all the best and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.